My name is Douglas Sisterson. I'm a research meteorologist at Argonne National Lab. I've been involved with a lot of different activities at Argonne over the last 40 years. The last 24 of them have been spent with uh, climate change. What we've learned is that um, if you look at all the ice, the mass of ice that's sitting on top of land, that if the planet got warmer, only at two degrees centigrade over time would be enough to melt all the ice on the planet. Now it takes some time to do that, but if all of that ice suddenly melted and flowed into the oceans, scientists can calculate that, and it's on the order of 220 feet of sea level rise. So if you want to think about that, the next time you're driving down a city, count up 22 stories on a building, and that's what the new level of water, ocean level would be across the entire planet if we were to melt um, all of the, the ice that would flow into the oceans. If you think about the magnitude of this, that most of the urban populations are in cities around sea coasts, what's going to happen to that infrastructure in, in the next 100 years if the sea level rise is, is more than 20 feet? Um, if, you, if it gets so large, we're, you're going to have to relocate that entire infrastructure to higher ground. As a scientist, I, would, I think the most important thing that the general public can do is, is try to wrap their head around what the problem is. I think we have to understand what the big picture problem is, how complicated it is, how dire the consequences can be so that I can better understand what I can do from my own backyard. I think the best thing kids can do is when mom says turn out the lights um, and save energy, that's certainly a great way to start. You know, I'm excited about, about what's going on with the next generation science standards uh, for K through 12. I think um, it would be nice to attract some of the smartest young minds that we have into the sciences because the sciences are, are studying real world problems that affect humanity. I think that um, with STEM, integrating science and technology and engineering and mathematics and giving a focus with real world problems and trying to basically teach sciences like scientists do science will, will help them learn about the real big problems that need solving in the world in their future.